Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making chicken shawarma. We are using Nadia's recipe book for this. I genuinely cannot believe how easy this recipe is. And it doesn't compromise on the flavour at all. Okay, so we're also making a broccoli slaw with this, which at first I was like, ew, that's not going to be great. But honestly, I'm so glad I tried it. I've got my Greek yogurt ready in the bowl. Okay, so in a hot pan, add some olive oil. Let the oil heat up and then add your mustard seeds. As soon as the seeds start popping, you need to turn the gas off and then add some mustard powder. I didn't have any mustard powder, so I used mustard sauce instead. And then you're adding some salt to that. Give it a good mix and then we're going to add the chopped broccoli. Okay, and now I'm adding some chopped parsley, and here's the finished dish. Now it's time to make the shawarma. First, we're going to mix all the dry spices together. There's quite a lot of dry spices, but it's totally worth it. The chicken is just so flavoursome, and that's obviously down to the spices. Okay, so first we're adding corn flour, then salt, cumin powder, dried coriander, paprika, turmeric, ground cloves, cayenne, and a ground cinnamon. Mix it all together so it's ready for the chicken thighs. To an empty bowl, we're adding vegetable oil, and the washed chicken thighs. The recipe states that you need to cut the chicken thighs in half, so that's what I've done. You can see it on the screen on your left hand side. Now I'm going to add all the spices and give it a really good mix so that the chicken is coated evenly. In the recipe, it says you need to use 750 grams of chicken thighs. I ended up using 1 kg by mistake. I don't think it made much of a difference to the recipe because it tasted great. Now I'm going to pile it up in a loaf tin, ready for the oven. Okay, and 40 minutes later the chicken is fully done. In the recipe book it says when the shawarma is ready, leave it in the tin for 10 minutes so that all the juices can go back into the chicken. 
Okay, now I'm just getting get ready to take a cute picture for Instagram. I honestly just love this recipe and I cannot wait to try more from this book. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, um, it's Nadia Hussain, the Bake Off winner. Okay, so I just found a video where Nadia herself is actually making this recipe. Um, I think it's on this morning. I leave it in the description box below for you to see. Okay guys, and now we are done. I hope to see you soon on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.